Another day, another opulent vision, road to sub 20 video. Today, man, this was kind of a rough day. I had quite a few solves here that were above 25 seconds, which is so out of the ordinary for me, but let me tell you why here. I've been trying to learn a lot more PLL algorithms. I've got four algorithms left. So as you guys know, with learning new algorithms, trying to implement them into your solves, I mean, it's pretty rough the first couple of weeks trying to like do them at a quick pace because it takes so much longer to just like identify the case and all that. But with that being said, we still almost broke sub 20 again. I think we had like a 21 second average, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into you guys' questions. And again, make sure to leave your comments for next week under the comments of this video and I will uh, do my best to get around to answering all of them. First question comes in from FFC. He asks, what is your PB on a Rubik's brand? This was a really long time ago that I actually used Rubik's brands as my speed cube. This was like way before I could afford speed cubes, but I think it was somewhere around like 28, 29 seconds before I actually ended up getting the Moyu Along V2, which ended up drastically dropping my times, believe it or not. But just for fun today, our little challenge of the day at the end of the video, I'm gonna be solving a Rubik's brand, not the speed cube kind, like one of the really crappy Rubik's brands. And we'll figure out how fast I can solve it these days. So next question coming in from Cloud Z. He asks, have you gone to any cubing comps? And if so, which ones? I think the last cubing comp I went to was probably like 2013, 2014. Um, I think it was called St. Mary's Scramble. This one was in the middle of nowhere. Um, fun fact, me and Sayo the King, the YouTuber, have a little beef over that competition. He's kind of from the area that the competition was at and ended up showing up to the competition. And way back in the day when this channel had a different name, I made like a compilation of, I guess, like the whole competition it was like a vlog compilation kind of like cool video i guess i ended up having him solving the cube like in the background of the compilation like you couldn't even hardly tell it was him and he somehow found the video and like left a huge ass hate comment about how he didn't want to be in the background of the video and i ruined his video because someone could see that he was solving which makes no sense to me but who knows that guy just had beef over nothing, but that video is taken down because I do respect, you know, if you don't want to be in it, you don't have to be in it. But I didn't know being in the background was that much to upset somebody. But again, we're respectful here. We took the video down, but low key kind of got beef with him. I don't really mind, but just cool fun fact about the previous channel. I guess that this was under Andrews top a, I hope I said that right. He said, when will you learn the 41 F2Ls? Uh, it will help you become sub 20 faster. Ooh, that's kind of a rough one because I guess the F2L cases are a handful I know. I've tried to learn a few of them in the past. You know, I've, I've got four more algorithms here on um, PLL, and then I think I might learn a few of those F2L cases. Um, not all of them yet. I mean, 41 is a huge number to learn, but... I might learn some of them and then switch over to OLL and start chipping away at a few of those just so I'm not like getting tired of one thing because, you know, as a cuber, if you're solving a couple hundred times a day, you get worn out so easily, believe it or not. So that's the plan. I'll learn a few of them, but not all of them quite yet. Chaka 2, 6, no, hold on. Chaka 2, 8, 3, 9, 6 asks, how do you manage work and hobbies? Um, I'm gonna be honest, not well. Um, I'm working full time um, as an architect, which takes a lot of time. And I like going to the gym in the evenings, which again, chips away more time out of my day. So what I usually do is there's one day of the week in particular, it's usually like a Saturday or a Sunday, where I will go ham at making videos I'll make seven shorts, do seven polls, and do my two weekly videos, this one and like my uh, 50 Things series or some other series for my Saturday video, and just have them scheduled, have them ready to go, um, which, I mean, that takes a whole day to do all of that and edit and all that. So again, I, I don't manage them well, but I manage to 
get them done. And I guess that's all that really matters at the end. Next question from JC Cuber asks, what is your least favorite WCA event that you practice? Man, this is a rough one, but I've probably got to say Mega Minx. I don't practice that much, but I do practice because I want to get faster. Um, believe it or not, I suck at Mega Minx, which, you know, if you can't get good times, it kind of gets boring slash annoying. So I think that's my least favorite one to practice. I believe if I get faster at it, it would be a lot more fun. But again, I just don't have the time or energy to really put into solving, you know, the other WCA puzzles. I really love three by three. So that kind of is what takes my most time. Gladiator six asks, what is your favorite restaurant slash food? This kind of boils down to two answers for me. Depends on the mood I'm in. If I want to get Mexican food, I'll obviously go to Chipotle. I think their quality of food is amazing, and I just love eating it and getting a kind of a high-calorie meal in, especially before going to like a bodybuilding competition or going to work out in the gym. I think their food is great and healthy. Now, on the other hand, if I'm just chilling, sitting back, I mean working on videos or watching a movie or something – I absolutely go get a sandwich. So either Jimmy John's or Mr. Good Sense. I don't know if you guys have those where you're from, but I mean, they're like sandwiches. They're really good. Um, You can't beat them. And again, very healthy. So can't beat it. Kind of running towards the end of the video here. So I've got a couple more questions here. Myths, Memories, Micah asks, what are your tips for intermediate cubers and what is the best cube in your choice? So... For me, my favorite cube to use is the Wave Rider V1, but I think a lot of people really like MoU cubes just for the price and how good they are. So if you can't afford the Wave Rider V1 or just kind of are unsure about it, absolutely go look at the RS3M V5. And my tips for intermediate cubers, definitely learn all of the PLL algorithms first. I am struggling learning them, trying to get sub 20, and I wish I would have learned them earlier. So absolutely go and learn those uh, first thing. And then again, just repetitions can absolutely deduct time. And if you see yourself kind of getting stuck in a certain time period, uh, just start learning more algorithms or different ways to, I mean, cut moves off of your solves and it will help you drastically. That is all the questions I had for today's video. If you made it this far, comment CS timer to confuse everyone in the comments. And then I'll know you made it all the way towards the end of the video. But without further ado, you guys take care, and we'll see you next week. Peace.